30 seconds to answer this. You're basically saying that we should take our marching orders from Al-Qaeda if they want us off the Arabian Peninsula, we should leave. No. I'm saying, I'm saying we should take our marching orders from our Constitution. We should not go to war. We should not go to war without a declaration. We should not go to war when it's an aggressive war. This is an aggressive invasion. We've committed the invasion of this war. And it's illegal under international law. That's where I take my marching orders, Chris, not from you, any enemy. Over this one. Hey. The American people didn't go in. A few people admit, ad, advising this administration a small number of people called the neoconservative hijacked our foreign policy. They're responsible, not the American people. They're not responsible. We shouldn't punish them. Congressman, we are one nation. We can't be divided. We have to be one nation under God. That means if we make a mistake, we make it as a single country, the United States of America. No. Not the divided States of America. When we make a mistake, when we make a mistake, it is the obligation of the people through their representatives to correct the mistake, not to continue the mistake. And that's what we do on the floor of the No, we've dug a hole for ourselves and we've dug a hole for our party. We're losing elections and we're going down next year if we don't change it. And it has all to do with foreign policy and we have to wake up to this fact. Even if we lose elections, we should not lose our honor and that is more important we're than losing, the Republican Party. We've lost over... We have lost... We have lost over 5,000 Americans killed in Afghan. We've lost over 5,000 Americans over there in Afghanistan, in Iraq, and, and plus the civilians killed. How many more do you want to lose? How long are you going to be there? How long? What do we have to pay to save face? That's all we're doing is saving face. It's time we came gentlemen, home. Gentlemen, thank you. Wendell.